Hello everyone, you are listening to Rhapsody of Realities, TiVo, daily devotional audio reading, written by Pastor Chris and read by the highest life. Today is Sunday the 21st of August 2022. The theme is personalize the word. Let God's word minister to you. Now, to the Bible, in James 1, verse 21. Get rid of all uncleanliness and the rampant outgrowth of wickedness, and in a humble, gentle, modest spirit, receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in your hearts contains the power to save your soul now let's talk there are people who go to church but never think the message being preached is addressed to them they always feel the pastor is referring to someone else especially if he's correcting something negative take for example susan and maggie who had a row the previous day now they're in church and it happens that the pastor is addressing envy strife and malice susan suddenly feels justified and starts casting conceited glances at maggie that say hope you're listening that's a wrong approach to the word of god by susan the message came for both of them but susan missed the blessing because she didn't personalize the word she kept thinking it wasn't her but maggie who needed to hear what the pastor had to say whenever you're in church and God's word is coming to you, always personalize it and receive it for yourself. Don't sit there wishing someone who offended you is listening to what the pastor is preaching. Receive the word for yourself. Similarly, don't only pay attention to the topics you like and ignore the ones that don't quite go down well with you. The Bible says every scripture is God breathed, given by his inspiration and profitable for instruction, for reproof and conviction of sin, for correction or error and discipline in obedience and for training in righteousness, in holy living, in conformity to God's will in thought, purpose, and action. 2 Timothy 3, 16. So, whether the preacher is sharing an exciting message on prosperity or correcting a wrong attitude through the word, take it as God's word for you. Now, if you want to go deeper, read Proverbs 9 verse 12 and Luke chapter 6 verse 41 to 42. Speak. Let's speak it into your life. I refuse to be conceited. Pride has no place in me. As I receive God's word into my heart today with all humility and modesty. I experience its transforming power in Jesus' name. Now for the daily Bible reading in the one year plan, read 1 Corinthians 6 and Psalms 119 verses 1 
to 112. And in the two year plan, read Luke 18 verses 1 to 8 and 1 Samuel chapter 7 to 8. Act. What can you do today? Meditate on 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Thank you for listening.